Hey, good afternoon YouTube. Wanted to do a video on watt meters. So here's two commonly used in RC applications and they're pretty good for low power DC use. Uh, they read typically 0 to 60 volts and they say 100, 130 amps. It's more like 10 amps continuous and 20 amps intermittent as far as the current. They have a couple of problems though. One is they're DC only and the other problem is these only read current and thus power flowing from the source to the load. They'll allow current to flow backwards but they don't measure that. They'll just read that as zero amps. So if you have 10 amps flowing this way it reads as 10 amps. If you run 10 amps that way it reads zero amps. And then the third problem with them is there's the readout, but there's no way to get any readout on a computer, for example. So the only way to read these meters is to look at the numbers on the display and write them down and then type them into a computer. Okay, so this is a, another option for power. This one at least runs AC power. This is the original key 3 kilowatt. This does have a problem in that, again, there's only the reading on the screen. There's no way to get a computer to read this. There's no USB port, there's no Wi-Fi, no Ethernet port. So this is another option here. These are made by AOTech. This is the Micro Smart Dimmer. They also make a Micro Smart Switch, and then they these are for in-wall applications. You actually install this, uh, hook up your line, and uh, neutral for your load and your source. And you can also hook up a switch here. And then this has a wireless antenna, communicates via Z-Wave to say a home automation controller. And then they also have these in external form factors where you've got a, a plug on one end and a, a receptacle on the other end and you can just plug it into an appliance. And these will read power flowing from, the, from AC power to the load. So very similar to one of these devices, they'll read the power from the source to the load, but going backwards they read nothing you have the advantage that you can communicate to a computer and do things in real time, you know, record the data and actually do something with it. So that's a step up from this. Gives you the ability to read the power usage over the wireless. So that has an advantage here, but this this device will read power going both directions. It'll read power coming from the plug out the receptacle, but it'll also read power going this way. I call it an absolute value power meter because it will, if you're pumping 100 watts this way, it reads 100 watts. And if you're pumping 100 watts this way, it reads 100 watts. That's uh, another power meter option. I'll show you one more here. So this is a another power meter option, this is again by AOTech. This is called the Home Energy Monitor, or HEM. This is the Generation 2 model. At least here in the U.S. you use the two monitors for the split phase. And uh, this one also has a, an AC power cord. If you can see that down on the bottom that runs into my outlet box here and the two current clamps go up here let me show you my power box so here's my main breaker panel on the house and here's the two clamps on the incoming wires so i have a clamp on line one and a clamp on line two here in the u.s you have 120 volts on leg one, 120 volts on leg two, and then there's the neutral in the middle, and then you've got 240 volts between the two legs. So it adds up the current in leg one, the current in leg two, 
and then combines those to get a total watts for the whole house. And then you can configure this through your home automation controller to read out the power and you can set it up to send out power reports when the power changes by a certain percentage or a certain number of watts. And then you can also have it just report every minute. So it reports over wireless Z-Wave communications. So that's a nice thing with this. It feeds real-time data into your home automation controller. You can record that data and you can actually do things with it. And I showed an earlier video where I had a little light turn on and off based upon the, the power that this very power meter was reading. And I'll, I'll put a link to that video here in the upper right corner. So that's this meter and it's very similar to a P3 kilowatt meter because it's basically an absolute value type of meter just like the P3 kilowatt. It reads the same power going in or going out. If you're using one of these, you need to take that into account that you're just getting the absolute value of the power. The other thing with power meters, something like this is maybe $15, $20 to measure DC power. And then as you go up the scale, you can do something like this. These are maybe $20, $25 for the kilowatt meter. So you can do a little bit more, costs a little bit more. A meter like this with a readout, at least this is a sensor, it doesn't have any display, but you're looking at maybe $30 to $40 for something like this and then around a hundred dollars for the home automation controller to talk to this thing. A meter like this with the clamps and this uh, unit down here is about a hundred dollars and then again you need the hundred dollar home automation controller so you're talking about two hundred dollars for a system. That I'll show you some other applications of a meter like this. They actually work quite well and if you understand the limitations you can actually do some pretty neat things with them. But anyway, I'll uh, try to wrap this up. If you have any questions, put, put that in the comments section below. You can uh, subscribe to my channel to be informed of updates. And as always, thanks for watching.